Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at some more Premier Ultra League battles. And we're going to be going in here with the Shadow Exeggutor. Now, we're also going to be taking a look at another Pokemon, which it's very unfortunate, the performance that we're going to be seeing here. Porygon's a Shadow. I mean, I didn't really have high expectations. The thing is glassy as it is. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on. After doing a few battles, I decide to go ahead and invest in another one that I do have with Tri-Attack, which is going to be this one here. I did have to power it up and purchase a secondary move. It was like 100,000 Stardust to power it up and then 50,000 for that second move. Yeah, a bit of a waste. So sacrifices here, guys. So let's see what we have going on. So I am going to be pairing it up with Exeggutor and Tangrowth here. So if you're thinking, well, it's kind of a bit vulnerable to fire. Well, as you're going to see here, going up against Charizard, Tangrowth is going to actually be able to beat it. So it's going to be pretty nice because Rock Slide and uh, Vine Whip are going to be a very fast combination to spam the Charizard here. So they're going to either have to burn shields, they're going to let it go down. And as you can see, that's going to easily one shot it because of the fire and flying typing uh, able to do that. So we're, you know, in a pretty decent position here, I suppose. Let's see what we have. Going to go in here and they're going to be swapping into Togekiss. Now here lies the problem. Yes, Charm is doing a lot of damage, but... This Shadow Porygon just simply can't take a hit. At least we're able to drop the defense and attack by one stage there. So that's going for us. Shadow Executor is already going to be kind of squishy. It has a bit of bolt to it already. So it is kind of evening out, sort of. We're able to Confusion down here. And in comes the Machamp. We had a Psychic ready to go. So we could have won, but they're just winning CMP here. So they're able to take that win. Well played. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at a few more, and then we're going to switch it up. We're going to take off Porygon Z, uh, Shadow, or Regular, and then we're just going to replace that with Charizard. And you're going to see the difference in performance here with this Grass team. So we're going to be swapping into our Tangrowth, into the uh, Swampert there. They're going to be going into their Venusaur. And since we do have a decent energy advantage here, we're looking okay. We're able to hit another Rock Side here. Uh, if they go for Sludge Bomb, that is going to be doing a lot of damage. Of course, they could bait us with a Frenzy Plant. I'm um, not 100%. Okay, we're going to shield this up. It is... Oh, they baited us. All right, well played. And expecting a Sludge Bomb after this. We are going to let it go down because we do have the Exeggutor to go in here. But I think I do want to actually go in and farm down with the Porygon Z so we can have a bit of energy. But unfortunately, they did build up quite a bit of energy. And I think... Oh, we had that Rock Slide ready to go. They might be getting off a Frenzy Plant. Yes, they do. Unfortunately, we're going to let this go through. It is Shadow and almost one-shots us, so yay, Porygon Z Shadow, it did something, it, it actually defeated something with Lock-On, great. So we're going to be bringing in Exeggutor here to take care of this Machamp, purified at that. So they're going for a Rock Slide, we still didn't use our shield, I think that was a bad idea. Uh, we're going to be going for the uh, Seed Bomb here, and yeah, if I would have used my shield, I think I could have won this. I just didn't know if they were going to be hitting a Sludge Wave, but at this point they don't need it. They're just going to go Hydro Cannon, so probably should use my shields from now on. So we're going to go ahead and invest in the other Porygon. I don't want to give up on it, but man, this is rough. And it is not the team comp, right? It is the fact that it is so squishy. The Executor and the Tangrowth were pulling their weight in battle, but this thing, you know, it's just too squishy. Simple as that. And on top of that, it took me forever to get the move that I actually wanted, which isn't a big problem because I have TMs. To, honestly, I need to t throw some away. I have way too many. So let's go ahead and take a look at the non-Shadow Porygon Z here. And of course, we're met with a darn Escavalier, which is going to be uh, horrible here because look at the counter. It's just already taken us down into the yellow within a matter of a second or two here. So going for the Tri-Attack to get the debuff, which we got. Okay, that's cool, I suppose. They're going for Drill Run, which is obviously going to take us out because we just can't take a hit. Going in here with the Tangrowth because Rockside is actually going to be doing a decent amount of damage. Deciding to let this go through, it is just a Drill Run, and they do have an attack debuff, so great, even less damage. Going for Rockside, they're using a shield here. As you can see, Bor or um, Tangrowth is amazing. I mean, look at it. It's, it's doing things over here. So they're bringing in a Empoleon, so I'm thinking, what would they have in the back? They have something weak to grass, I'm thinking. And we do have the Executor, so we're going to go ahead and swap and then try to farm down. And we do beautiful. And what do they have back there? It's a Togekiss, so we're just going to go ahead and go Psychic, which was probably a bad idea. They have two shields. We should have just went... Oh, they have one shield. Okay, we got the shield. All right, maybe shield bait. And now we're not in the best position here. We're going to be able to go for Rock Slide and actually 
KO. But then they have the S Cavalier in the back, which is going to get to a charge move before we are. I mean, that was very close. As you can see, the only thing holding us back is the Porygon Z. I'm sorry, buddy, but you got to go. Charizard, let's go, bud. Let's see what you can do here. So we're going to be leading with Charizard, and then we're going to have the two Grass Pokemon on the back, highlighting the Shadow Executor. This thing is really good. <laughs> the confusion damage is amazing. All right, so we're met with an S Cavalier. Well, let's go. Beautiful. They're going to be swapping into a Snorlax, and we're going to go right into our Tangrowth. Now, you're going to see in a battle later down the line here that I do make a mistake, and during this specific swap, when they go into a Snorlax, I go into my Exeggutor, which is horrible. So we're looking pretty good here. Uh, we're going to be able to spam these Rock Slides. No need to hit that Power Whip. This is going to do just fine. So at this point, we're going to let this go through, and we're going to farm down. Uh, let's see if they decide to stay in here or if they want to lock themselves in. Looks like they're going to just let it go down. Beautiful. And we're going to be able to get to a rock site before they do take us out, which is going to do a lot of damage to S Cavalier. And there you go. Looking great. They're not able to farm us that much. We're going to simply go in here with Charizard and swap right into our other Pokemon because we know that's what they're going to do. And it's going to be a Gyarados. So we're going to go ahead and hit this Seed Bomb here, which is going to also do a ton of damage to it despite it being a part flying type. So we do have two shields to burn. What are we going to do? Let it go through. Very curious here. Because I'm just thinking, all right, we have two shields. Let them burn off their energy here. We'll go in with Charizard and simply fire spin down. We don't even need to hit a charge move anymore. All we're going to have to do is simply uh, shield these up. All right. So we'll watch. It gets a little close. I get a little brave. Over farm. I probably should have done all this. So let's see here. They do something crazy. They hit me with an acid spray. I'm like, oh, okay. Um... We could hit two of these Dragon Claws, simple, but I just get lazy and I just farmed out. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even call it lazy, I just think that I'm okay, which I was, but cutting it a little bit close there with the uh, Acid Spray. So we're able to get one win because of the Porygons after we changed to the Charizard. So into a new set with this fresh team with Charizard, Lead Executor, and then Tangrowth. Let's see what we have. We're met with a Crobat, very interesting, considering we do have two Grass. <laughs> okay. All right, but this is perfectly fine. We just need to simply get this thing out of here. If they're going to swap, we need to as well. And I didn't realize that it had Fury Cutter and not uh, Smackdown because uh, that would have taken me out in like, what, four Smackdowns? So I swap immediately after I saw the Crustle. Uh, but it does have Fury Cutter, so that it's going to actually be super effective to my grass here. So we're just going to make do. We can go for a Rock Side or we can go for Power Whip. Both of them are going to be doing neutral damage. They're going to be taking us out. We still have two shields. So since they don't have Smackdown, we don't have to worry about that. We can go in here with the Charizard. Unfortunately, we're going to have to shield this. That Rock Blast would easily KO us. It's going to have a massive, super effective uh, damage to us because of the flying and the fire typing. So what are they going to bring in here? It's going to be a Tangrowth, and there it is. Yes, it can be a counter, but we do have this massive energy advantage, so we're going to be pretty good. Probably should have baited with the uh, Dragon Claw first, right? So we're going to be swapping into our Executor. Rock Slide is going to hurt. Yep, that's what they're going to be going for. Are they going to swap? They're staying in here. There's no more shields. So we're going to be going for Psychic. We just want to take them out. Tank Growth is pretty tanky. I don't want to risk it by going for the Seed Bomb. And then they're able to get to a charge move. So able to do a lot of damage to the Crobat with our Confusion Shadow Executor. Going to be shielding this Sludge Bomb up and hopefully get to a Dragon Claw. Beautiful. And we're going to be able to take the win. So far, so good. This team is looking fantastic. So this is going to be a 4-1 set. And we are going to take a look at the battle that I did have where I messed up and potentially could have got a 5-0. So we're met with a Glade in the beginning. This is beautiful because close combat, not very effective. Although it will take us down pretty low. Leaf Blade massively resisted as well. So there's that Leaf Blade expecting to swap into Snorlax. And here is the battle I was describing here where I swapped into my wrong Pokemon, which is going to be my... Shadow Exeggutor doing, uh, taking so much damage from that lick. I mean, I just let it go down. I'm like, well, that's a loss. Let's see how I could potentially maybe or at least try to recover this. So we're just going to go for a Blast Burn. Again, another mistake I made. I should have just went for Dragon Claw. They shielded up. We wasted a bunch of energy there. So we're going to have to shield this up. We want to keep this Charizard healthy here. That's going to be our first shield. And they're able to get to another Body Slam. I'm going to have to shield it up again. So there we go, wasting two shields. And then we're swapping into our Tangrowth for some reason. And our Charizard has a bunch of energy. So I guess let's see what we can do here. So they're going for a Body Slam. I think we, we're thinking in our mind, all right, just build up some energy here. We can absorb a Body Slam. 
if they swap at least we're going to be able to spam them it is a lapras here so we're going to go straight for the power whip hopefully they don't shield this up all right getting a bit close and hope is starting to come to me like i might be able to do this but that lapras did farm quite a bit so i don't know how i'm going to be able to pull this off so we swap immediately they swap two and we're getting all oh, into that glade and i back out at the point they got me there I messed up that swap into the Snorlax with my Executor. Into the next battle, we're met with another Charizard Shiny. Beautiful. Let's see how this mirror match does end up. So we're building up extra energy beyond Blast Burn here. We're going to go ahead and let this go through. Just a Dragon Claw. Perfect. We're going to actually go ahead and go for Blast Burn and see if they let this go through. They do. And we're going to be bringing them into the red here. So we're able to get to another Dragon Claw. This is just great. All right. So at this point, it's going to look like we're wasting a shield, but we're kind of... We just want them to just use that energy. So there's that Dragon Claw, fine. I'm thinking maybe I can get to another Dragon Claw, but I'm not able to, which is perfectly okay. We're going to go ahead and let it go down. We have those two grass, but what we're going to do is go in here and farm down with the Tang Growth. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. So we have a lot of energy ready to go. What are they going to combat me with now if the Charizard's gone with the two grass? So they're bringing in a Venusaur. Okay, that is an answer to grass with the Sludge Bomb here. But since we have so much energy, we're going to be able to go for these back to back just about here. And I think we can like shield up. Are we going to shield up or let this go through? We're going to shield and then swap into our Exeggutor immediately to take them out. All right, but they're swapping themselves into a Swamper here. And uh, this is looking pretty good. Earthquake is not going to be very effective. And Hydro Cannon, of course, is not going to be doing very much damage as well. If they have Sludge Wave, that is where we're going to be not looking too great. As a matter of fact, we would be looking horrible. There's no way. Uh, so Earthquake, great. We're able to survive that. And we're going to be hitting another one of these Siege Bombs. Confusion should take out the Venusaur. Unless they hit a Charge Move and we're able to take him out with Confusion. And there goes that Exeggutor pulling the win. Looking great. Into the next battle here. We're met with a Venusaur. All right. So we're going to swap, of course, into a Drip Limb. So we're going to go ahead and go into our Exeggutor. I, I kind of just... I don't know. Maybe um, Tangrowth would, would have been better because we do have the Rock Slide. So... We're just going to go ahead and build up to a Psychic. Uh, expecting them to shield, maybe? Let's see. And they do. All right. So at this point, I think we're just going to go ahead and let this thing go down. Go in here with the Charizard and farm it down. Because, what, Tangrowth at this point is not going to be a good option. Yeah, exactly. So go in here with the Charizard. Go in for the Dragon Claw as soon as possible. If they want to use that last shield, that's going to be great. They're letting it go through. And we're, they swapped right as it was about to go down. Locked themselves in here with the... Swamper, we're going to go ahead and bring in our other grass, which is going to be the Tangrowth, and we're going to be looking fantastic here. All we need to do is just come out of this battle with some energy, so we're ready to go. Because, well, we have one shield, I guess that's okay. Uh, they do have that Drift Blimp, but we also need to see what else they have. All right, so down it goes, and they're going to be bringing in a Venusaur, so this is going to just be Rock Slide at this point. And since we do have the Charizard, we're looking golden. That Drift Blimp is basically one you know quick move from the charizard and it's over so at this point we're just doing as much damage letting them do whatever they want uh, i was kind of getting nervous that they were trying to think that they were going to farm me down or something so i go ahead and swap we absorb a sludge bomb which is great and they bring in their the pokemon but it just goes down immediately we're going to go ahead and shield this up and we're going to be able to take the win with quick moves on the venusaur ending the battle how it started into the next one here i think this is going to be our last one if you did enjoy please give it a big thumbs up and i'll be continuing to bring you these go battle league battles and keeping you up to date on the news so we're met with a horrible lead which is going to be the swamper they're going to escavalier which i wasn't you know too disappointed about because check this out rock side look at that just about half health doing about maybe 40 percent so we're looking pretty good here we're going to go ahead and shield this up mega horn good call beautiful that would have taken us out probably i'm pretty sure uh, so going for another rock slide here. They are shielding it up because, well, that would have pretty much taken them out. We're actually able to get to another one. So <laughs> do they want to keep burning their shields? They do, which works for me. We're going to go ahead and just let it go down. We're almost able to get to another rock slide. I'm pretty sure they over farmed. Getting ready. Yeah, they have energy ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and go in here with Charizard so we can just absorb whatever they decide to throw at us we're not able to take it out immediately because they do have that energy stored up going for a drill run do they want to lock themselves no we're going to swap and somehow for some reason they stop attacking right now but i'm pretty sure they realize it's over i want you guys to check this out too uh so they do have a swampert in the back even if they were using quick moves at this point we would have been able to get to the psychic 
take them out and then we should have been able to even get to the uh, seed bomb and then take them out again i just want to make sure that's clear because i don't want you thinking i won this because of that and i also had a shield left so all right so there you have it trainers i'm having a blast over here in the ultra premiere testing out some fun stuff but kind of you know staying on the more serious side we're not getting all goofy like we did with the gibble right and other things the randomized teams was really fun the gibble was too but anyways maybe we might go crazy here very soon if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up turn notifications on and i'll be keeping you up to date on everything pokemon go and the news thanks for watching and take care mm -hmm.